be with student and talk about religious topics. Very difficult. You know it? You are in English? Yes. Okay. So there is no need to translate, right? Then is there no need to translation? Yes, sir. Say again. Then I can speak fluently. So, what is your object of our life? First of all, we have to stand. Ultimate object of our life. We may say many, many topics. Someone may say, I want to be an engineer. Someone may say, I want to be an author or whatever. But ultimate object. Nowadays, educational development 
and financial development. We are running, but we can see a lot of corruption. Corruption not decreasing, corruption increasing because we are not maintaining our responsibility, what is supposed to maintain as a human being. Ultimately, we have to know we are human. As a human being, we need our ultimate goal, ultimate object to be blissful. Under any circumstances, person may have a lot of money. Person may have a lot of business, a lot of money, but they may not have the bliss in their life. No peace. I have. <coughs> I associate many, many rich people around the world. I have seen their life full of distress. Just recently I was in Johannesburg. I can tell you one truth. One richest man in, in Johannesburg, I think all of you know a Jyoti company. You know Jyoti company? Which making electric power. The Jyoti Company partner, director. So he was telling me, Maharaj, I have many, many houses. I have many, many cars, expensive cars like BMW. Mercedes. I have a lot of property. But when I want to use car, I want I use only one car. When I want to sleep, I need only two but a small place. Why my tendency forced me to accumulate more and more and more but you are well. And that tendency uh, may not allow me to be happy unless the greedy are running behind money and ultimately I am not feeling happy in my life. Unless the stress, stress Then I become surprised to hear such type of uh, realization from that person. I told them, that's okay, if you really want to be blissful, you have to, you have to search which source of bliss. Suppose, if I want money from anyone, you have to know who has really money. Then we can go there. If he become merciful on me, then he can give me money. If you want to get some knowledge, suppose here teacher from science, teacher from arts, teacher from commerce. What type of knowledge you want in your life? We have to search such type of profession. Then we can have such type of knowledge. Same way, we have to know in this miserable world. You have to know this. This is this world full of misery. Like a desert field, people look mirage. Running behind mirage for water, <coughs> and then finally no water and die. Our situation was the same. 
We have to know where is the source of bliss. Money is not source of bliss. But it is helpful. If we know how to use money, then we can utilize the money in order to get the source of flesh. In order to reach the source of flesh. So I explained that director that Mr. Arshan, you have to find out who is the source of flesh. Then he is asking you who is the source of flesh. And I explained, source of the Supreme Law. Then he asked me, who is Supreme Law? Then I explained him, Supreme Law is Krishna. What is the proof? And I explained, this is Brahma Shamita. And Brahma explained, clearly, he explained to all of us, Vishara Parana Krishna. Satchidananda Vigraha Ishara Supreme Master Pahe Who is Ishara? No Ishara is Krishna Krishna means Eternal Flesh In this material world we may have name Patmolochon Patmolochon means Lotus eyes, but person may be blind. blind. But we have to know spiritual law, not like that. According to our quality, may be there. All our identity, huh? we have to know that we are belongs to. Actually, we are spirit soul, we have belongs to the spiritual world. Our eternal home, eternal home, the Lord has been the, to the Lord's abode, so to the Lord's abode. Our purpose to be here with this form, human form, go back to that abode. Not to be here forever, full of misery. How to back? How to go back? Therefore, you have to search. But in flesh, source of bliss is Krishna. How to reach Krishna? We may have a lot of questions. You guys are talking about we have another one idea about uh, about source of knowledge. But if you look the situation, because I have seen every year I am traveling around the world. Every year, last ten years I am traveling. I. I have school program in Brazil, Sao Paulo, and Rio de Janeiro, and Pereiro, in city. I did last year, every year I'm going to several universities. I try to make them understand their life was full of wisdom in all this. I saw, have seen their girls and boys. They, are, they don't know what they are doing. Girls, 14 years, 15 years, they become pregnant. Such misery. And after that, they are in distress. How much we are developing technically, that much we are in distress. You can see, I think, uh, this principal, he can explain properly. I think he has experience how much we have this, we have this race 
20 years ago. I think now, though we are technically developed, but our distress is increasing. Am I right? Because I have seen people have some stable life 20 years ago. But now it's a really miserable situation. So what to do? How to adjust? How to get out from the situation? Your life, student life, now you have to adopt your habit. With the practice, first of all, you have to know to respect everyone. With your father, with your mother, with your relatives, keep due respect. One great, great acharya. The Narottam Thakur explained in order to become happy, become blissful, we have to respect, due respect to everyone. Then we can remove our all bad. All the, all the consequences of bad activities we can remove. And we can chant the name of Supreme Lord. When we are able to chant Supreme Lord, happy, then we can be happy. He explained to us. Therefore, it is most important from our life, grass level of our life. First of all, we have to give due respect to everyone. If we are disrespectful to others, we have to know this material art like a mirror. In front of mirror, if you cry, you can see your cry. In front of mirror, if you laugh, you can see the laughing. So it should not be, it should not be cause of our, cause of anyone's cry. We should make, we should give due respect and make them happy. That we have to establish in our life, school, in society, in house everywhere, in office, wherever you go. This is the most, most important for every human being. Then, what I am trying to explain, the search how to be blish. I already explained that source of bliss is Krishna. And how to reach Krishna? How to reach Krishna? It's very difficult. According to our golden age process, very difficult meditation, it's very difficult. Nowadays, our mind always jumping here and there. So to see the to see our present mind's concentration, Lord making very easy. Just simply chant the name of Supreme Lord. Actually the principles a little explained I am actually one of the leader of Hare Krishna movement. I am just explaining to everyone, every student, 
healthy, loyal person, I'm explaining them the same. Most of them, they are telling me that you are right. Because mind is completely fickle. Because too much attached to material things. Nature of material world is changeable, or mind also changes. Today we are thinking we can be happy with such things. Tomorrow it is old, we will be doing things. You can see nowadays. It will cause of our distress or mind unstable. Mind unstability. So first of all, we have to fix our goal. We want flesh. So, I explain, bliss is the source of bliss is Krishna, then you have to go ahead with, to reach the source of bliss is Krishna. I already explained you, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra is most easiest process to reach the source of bliss in this case, Kali Kali means hypocrisy, full of hypocrisy. You can see nowadays a person, not only nowadays, actually it is the nature of this world. We want benefit from you. You can see that one person wants wants to get wants to get benefit from other person. So which powerful they are always on power. The powerful means in that sense intellectually and bodily which powerful they are getting such thing. You can see Nowadays, that if you look scientifically, that one bugs, they are eating grass, but it's too small. You know, cows coming to eat that bugs. One snake coming to eat frog. Then one peacock coming to eat snake. One tiger or any ferocious animal, if they have any chance, they are also killing peacock and such a way they are surviving. This is the nature of the world. One soup depends on other. And then life will continue. In that way, survive. But you can see, human being is not powerful. It is not physically powerful. But intellectually, they are powerful. You can see the elephant, tiger, lion, in the old Sarka song. One human being, they are ordering the elephant. Hey, go there. Do this, do that, elephant power. But if you look, elephant power, more than 100 times than a human being. But by, int by intelligence, elephant is controlled by that human being. Also, you can see this tiger lion, the ferocious. They have a lot of power now. But by intelligence, human being, what are in that? Do this, do that. In Sarka Sarka you can see that. So human have intelligence. <coughs> Therefore, we have to think intellectually. 
what I try to explain is that we have to acquire an intelligence in common man who should not just go through haphazardly <coughs> intelligence, intelligence when we apply properly, then we can be free from all distraction. The world has full of progression, full of ignorance. If we go ahead intellectually, then we can have some source. We can get the source. How can you become happy? The most, most important for our life. We can't ignore. Therefore, I am telling you that whatever situation we have, whatever education we have, Try to use it for the service of God. Incarnation of, <coughs> incarnation of Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in teaching us such a way, 524 years ago, he appeared on this earth. He also came in that example. He explained to us the power for us to get education for accumulating or for performing uh, the devotion to God. You may have some idea of oh, Devotion to Lord means we have to live our family life. So, in any stage, any wherever you are, if you want to be family man, you can have the opportunity to. If you want to renounce, you can also have the opportunity to. Like family man, take your family is the Lord's family. All your members, the Lord's member and the Lord's servant, treat them as a devotee of the Lord. Your children, your husband, your wife, everybody servant of the Lord. Middle of the family keeps up with the Lord. Whatever you are doing, what the body serves. But what general people are doing, they are very sad, but your idea just completely uh, <coughs> one direction. <coughs> Whatever you are doing, for the service. Even a cookie, you are thinking that we are looking for the Lord. Then you offer the Lord, and then you can have the shop, then that's In that way, if we continue the rest of our life, I am sure that we can have opportunity to meet with God, to reach the source of relation, which is most, most important for every human being. But this tendency we can have, we can feel enthusiastic to follow if we chant the name of Supreme Lord. What name I insist in to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 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 Rama. This name. Nowadays, you can see. People have lot animal dogs, cats. Where they want dogs, you know, I, I saw many, many houses in the West. Those 
eyes, the light keep dark, very dark, I don't know why. Recently, I was also one judge. I stayed in one house which joined us from high court judge. She was married, 55 years old. She has three dogs in her home. So she is calling all the dogs by name. Big big dog. So before Johannesburg I arrived in Moscow, then I saw what family really rich in Moscow. They have five, six dogs, big big dogs. She is also calling dog by the name. The dogs are coming. Taylor moving so much. Coming to him, to her. And bow down their head. So dogs are coming, cats are coming, but just calling with their name. Even your relatives, they are calling all of them out by their name. They are coming. Why not come? Hare means Radhe. The Buddha protects you of Krishna. Krishna means Krishna. Ram means also Krishna. Ram means Krishna means Radhika, which Ram is Rama, Rama means play, who is able to play with Timothy Rama. This is Krishna. So Radhika Rama Rama. So Radha Krishna is two. This Bhagavan is going to explain you. This address is called Radha Krishna. Krishna and this is Krishna's pleasure for days. Ananda Gaidishan. Two is here. Don't think this is like a mythology. No. It is applicable. If we follow that, then you can have some experience about it. I have no business to cheat you. Coming here all the way and to cheat you. What I have realization, I want to make share with you. If you follow, then you can have realization too. Just Hare Krishna, Mahavantra, you may say, why? If we chant only Krishna, then Krishna again, why Rama? The Krishna in Brahmanda Pura explained that without Rama is blessings, no one can take my blessings. Vinarana Prashadina Mat Prashadam Nadina. So, though it is not subject, but I have to finish on time. So, in brief, I can tell you the object of life, every human life. Not only human, every living being is rich. You can have rich if you reach God. Mentally, if you reach God, then you can have realization of rich. What type of bliss or happiness you are feeling right now, it is not actual bliss or happiness. Just like the slightest relief from our different demands and distress. Slightest, not big quantity. Slightest relief from our different demand and distress will be we are happy. Actually, a real happiness we may have when source of bliss 
whenever we are able to be connected with source of peace, that is Krishna. And that connection we can have through Chanchi. So, in this short period, I am just explaining in brief to be connected with source of bliss. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to explain what this content in past. Just I have a question, sir. Yes. One of the most disturbed areas in India. One of the most disturbed areas in India is Jammu and Kashmir. How many times have you visited Jammu and Kashmir and addressed the country? I never tried to go there. You know, Jammu and Kashmir, I never tried to go there. I know the problem is there. <laughs> Actually, I have I, I visit the people who moved to Vienna, you know, Austria, Vienna. I met over there many people who used to be there, but they faced a lot of trouble, problems, and they left their house and simply went to Europe and they settled up there in Vienna. I met with them. <coughs> I heard the actual problem. How people in the name of religion they are creating a lot of problems over the That much I can tell you. I have no practical experience to be over there, <coughs> but I heard everything from them. A group of people from Jammu, the left, when I actually cast the Hindu, the Sindh, the left of But it's very difficult to solve the problem because both like Pakistan is demanding that in their land, India is demanding that in their land. Actually, if they come to the point that the land belongs to law, then the problem can solve. Now it is just fighting with land. But land belongs to law. As soon as we we leave our body, then we have no connection with land. Due to lack of our understanding, the reality, all we are fighting in the material world. Any question? Actually, I, I never went there. But I heard about the situation in the area, they are dangerous. And unnecessarily they harassed Hindu people and they killed a soldier, a soldier, so many, uh, so many uh, well, whimsical activities are going on over there in the name of the act of the land, in the name of religion, in the name of the country.
but it's better to be successful. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, send an email. I try to reply as soon as possible because I'm getting mail every day from many, many continents. Really so much. I may send you my reply in seven days. Not immediately. But anyhow, I will try to reply. So, if you have no questions, so at the end we can charge once more.